Oxygen has always offered full support for X HTML documents, but starting with version 22, HTML5 files are also now fully supported. The purpose of this video is to show you some of the specialized HTML5 features that are now provided. Some examples of these features include specialized text-based and visual-based editing, syntax highlights based on the HTML5 specification, content completion based on the HTML5 schema, an outline view that displays the document structure, and validation against the W3C validator, including batch validation. I'll start by creating a new HTML5 file using a built-in template, and I'll start showing you some of the editing features. I will enter a title, Notice that the content completion feature is available, and many of the elements include a link to the HTML5 specification. I'll go ahead and insert the paragraph and add some text. Next, I'll insert a table using a built-in code template. Note that it is possible to customize code templates by adding or editing them in the Code Templates Preferences page. Next, to show you the specialized outline view, I'll open an already prepared HTML5 file. This file contains HTML5 code as well as snippets of embedded CSS and JavaScript code. You can edit any type of HTML5 document in Oxygen as long as it conforms to the HTML5 specification, and this is even true if it is not XML well formed. In my example, you can see that some elements do not have a closing tag, and attribute values are not surrounded by quote characters. You can use the outline view to see the structure of the document, and to further assist you, the main editor and the outline view are synchronized. So if I click items in the outline view, you can see that they are highlighted in the main editor. You can also use the outline view to search for elements. You can use the Format and Indent Toolbar button to format the content to make it easier to read. Note that the CSS and JavaScript content are also formatted. Back to the Content Completion feature. Even if the tags are not closed, the Content Completion window will present the elements that can be inserted in a specific context. Also, embedded CSS and JavaScript code can be edited in place. Oxygen recognizes these sections and provides editing support, such as content completion and syntax highlighting. Oxygen also provides support to edit HTML5 documents in the author visual mode. When I switch to author mode, notice that there is a message saying the document is not XML well formed. However, once the document is modified, Oxygen will change the structure to be XML well formed. This means that, among other things, all tags are closed and quotes are added around attribute values. If I edit a value in the table and then switch back to text mode, notice that the tags have been closed and quotes were added. To minimize the number of changes, Oxygen adds the closing tags without formatting the document. But to make it look nicer, I can use the Format button. Then I'll switch back to Author Mode. Just like other built-in frameworks, notice that the HTML5 framework comes with a series of predefined commonly used actions. For example, I can use this action to insert an image. And of course, I can use the content completion support in author mode to insert new valid structure within the document.
Next, to present the HTML5 validation support, I will use an already created project that contains the HTML5 and CSS files. You can validate HTML5 documents using an embedded W3C validator. The validation operation can be invoked on an entire project directory. Notice there are some errors in some of the files, and I'll double click one of them to open it. You can also validate an individual file. Information about the errors is displayed in the message pane at the bottom of the interface. Markers are displayed in the vertical stripe on the right, and the errors are underlined within the document. You can hover over an error to see more information about it. And the continuous validation support along with the error messages will help assist you in correcting the validation issues. The document is now valid according to the HTML5 specification. It now only contains some warnings, so I'll move on at this point. Oxygen also offers support to query HTML5 documents using XPath. For example, suppose I want to obtain all the term definitions from the document. I can enter a query in the XPath toolbar, and it generated some results. XPath expressions can also be run on the entire project using the XPath Builder view. And I'll enter the same query from the XPath Builder view this time. Next, if you want to publish your project, it is considered good practice to reduce the size of the files by getting rid of unnecessary bits, such as white spaces or comments. This operation is called compression or minification. Oxygen provides support to compress HTML5 files using the minify HTML action that can be accessed from the contextual menu for the current file. You can also do this for CSS files using a similar action. I hope this video was helpful for presenting Oxygen's HTML5 features. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you for watching.